question is Zionism. Yes. The notion of Zionism has been taken on by our detractors. What, what does Zionism mean today? What does it mean, Derekho? To to us or, or to you? What, what does it mean to me? It means the future of the Jewish people. Not just the past. It's not a, an, a, 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 an old movement. No, 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 no. no. It's a Zionism program. is our future. It's the hope of the Jewish people. And uh, we are kind of lately losing a little bit of that chazon, of that uh, uh, what's dream. That dream. dream. So we have to remind people, as we did today, where it all began. And Zionism was created as the home of the Jewish people, right. not just physically, but it is what we need to remember going forward. If we lose that, that vision, Zionism is a vision, and uh, if we lose that vision, we're in trouble. Many people think that Zionism was a colonialism, establishing a, a Jewish uh, state on someone else's land, and they look negatively on the, on the term Zionism. What is Zionism really? Do you know that there is never, on the land which is called Palestine, quote unquote, there has never been, other than a Jewish nation, there has never been any other people who have had a country on that land. That's a historical fact. Jerusalem mm -hmm. was never the capital of anybody else. Mm -hmm. It was only the capital of the Jewish people. Mm -hmm. And it must remain the capital of the Jewish people. So anybody that is trying to, you know, up, up, obfuscate, what's the word? Yeah, obfuscate, yeah. The, the, the facts is only lying to people. The facts are that there was a Jewish kingdom, there was never any other kingdom, and, kingdom there, of Judea. and there was a city called Jerusalem that King David established as the capital of the Jewish people. It's never been anybody else's capital. 3,000 so years ago. Look up your facts. That, that happens to be a fact. So let's not kid ourselves. We're not talking about colonialism. We're talking about returning to our land. It, be, it was given by God to the Jewish people. So this performance tonight means a lot to you personally, I can see. Oh, absolutely. Because, you know, we, we were just talking to little kids who came to see it. They didn't know the history. If we don't know our history, we won't know where we're going. Yeah. Where did it all start? It started 65 years ago yeah. when the United Nations gave us our own land. Yeah. Unfortunately, our neighbors could have said yes 65 years ago. They waited 65 years and they're, saying, they're still saying no. We would have avoided a lot of bloodshed. Yeah.